So you wanna make money by selling art generated just by AI. So you don't have to do a lot of work and you can make a revenue out of that. Well, this is the video and let's begin right away. So the tool which we are gonna use is Playground AI. So simply search here for Playground AI and you will see the first link. Open that up in a new tab and here it will ask you to get started for free. You can sign up with using Google, which is easier. Since I already have an account, I'm simply gonna tap login. And then I can also sign in using Google. So it can save some time instead of typing out the email and password yourself. And once you are here, you have an interface looking sort of like this, where on the right side, you can adjust the settings of the app. For example, we have prompt details where we can select a style. For example, it says art, we can choose an art style, but we don't want anything from there. So if we won't select that. And then we can filter that. There are some options and filters. For example, there's a vivid colors. You can select that if you'd like to. And then here is the important part, the dimensions of the art which you're gonna make. For example, it's a landscape format that you have to select something like a 16 ratio nine. But if you want something more like a standard mobile format, then Instagram posts would do just fine or an Instagram portrait. So I'm gonna select that. And then the number of images is one in the basic version. Then you can select a mode. So let's go with basic and see what it does. And on the left side, you can select a model. For example, here it is selected stable diffusion. So let's try that as well and write a message. And here we have a simple prompt. I basically instructed it to create a castle in the style of Disneyland, high quality. And you can adjust the prompt according to your needs or what you wanna make to sell. And here we have our very first image generated, which is a castle in the style of Disneyland but it is not looking exactly like a Disney castle, which is awesome because we don't want any copyright claims. And on the left side, you have this panel where you can see the creations you have created so far. And what's more awesome about this is that you can take this prompt from here and make some changes to it and write a whole new one. For example, we had this original prompt, I have made some changes and now I'm gonna generate a new image based on that. And here we have more of a magical themed castle which looks absolutely mind-blowing if you click on this download button it will firstly open it in a new tab where you can see it more clearly and then you can also save it up in your computer and let's just go ahead and do that i'm going to save it in the documents folder for now and if we go back let's try using the advanced mode and see what it does and here we have more options if we click on the advanced we can select the number of columns we can select a model here and there are several of them currently we have selected realistic vision so let's go ahead and try selecting the Stable Diffusion 2.1 or we can also try the SDXL. And here is a prompt guidance which basically means and if this value is higher, meaning the image will match our prompt as best as it could. So let's try creating a headshot portrait of a character. I'm just gonna go through this and try several different types of arts so I can show you how this tool exactly works. And here is our headshot of the character and here it has given us our character's portrait with a simple sketch on the right side and a full art on the left. We, I think looks really good. And let's go ahead and see the other art. And here is a really beautiful looking abstract art that I have generated. So basically this is sort of like a wallpaper. You can sell it as a wall art as well. So you can use this tool for a lot of different things. You can make wall arts or character headshots or make stunning and appealing visual arts of any sort. And you can make money out of that. And now here we have our character headshot that I have gotten using this tool, I can go ahead and download this. Now let's say if you have a character image and you don't want a background, so what you have to do is simply download that. Then you can come to Google and search for AI background remover. It is the first link that I like to use and open this up. And for the way this tool works is basically you just drop the image you have saved. So let's do that. And it will remove the background for you perfectly. You can also compare it with the original by tapping this button. And here we have the background removed and you can do a lot of different things with this image. And last but not least, and finally, you can use Fiverr to sell your art. As you can see here, there are a lot of services which use these AI, whether it's Playground or Leonardo, and then you can sell your art here. And you can also see there are a lot of ratings and people are using these services to sell art. But that was it for today's tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. Consider leaving a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.